Do you ever use a voice to speak for your dog? Of course you do, you'd have to be crazy not to. But have you ever stopped to wonder how this voice compares to your dog's actual voice? You know, the voice they use to talk to themselves in their head. Because the voice in my head sounds exactly like my voice right now. Did I feed the dogs this morning? Maybe I didn't. Or did I? Perhaps I should ask them. Nah, if I ask them, they'll just say I didn't do it. Well, might as well just give them half to be safe. But since I don't actually speak dog, I don't know Griffin's real voice. For all we know, she could sound completely different to herself. Didn't I just buy a loaf of bread? How are we already out of Griffin? Hmm, I didn't, you can't prove Phoenix did it. Or maybe she's more super villainy than we give her credit for. <laughs> I didn't. You can't prove Phoenix did it. Yeah, it's definitely that last one. What criteria determines the voice we give them anyway? Is it maybe an assumption based on the way they look? The type of bark or howl they have? <coughs> or is it something else entirely? Until someone develops that dog speech technology thing from the movie Up, we'll never know our dog's actual voices and what they're really saying. Whatever it is though, we know for a fact they're saying it with love and appreciation. Right, Phoenix? You're an idiot. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want to see more fun stuff like that, you can subscribe to this channel. Tap on the little circle with my face in it to subscribe. Oh, thank you so much for the kisses. If you want to see a playlist of our shorts videos, you can go here. And if you want to check out more long form stuff, there's a whole playlist dedicated to the Sidestream podcast down there. Oh goodness, oh goodness. All right, it's been real, see you all next time. Bye. Good <laughs> morning.